So if you're listening to these in order, just a little bit ago, I kind of talked about how the sun is highest on the horizon at noon. We have the greatest angle with regard to the horizon and the sun um, during our summer solstice, about June 21st or 22nd or so. And the lowest angle, the smallest angle between the horizon and the sun at noon when the um, during the year that we call the winter solstice, about December 21st or 22nd. Um, so um, that the angle of the the sun as it makes with the horizon makes a difference with regard to um, a few things and among them is what we call beam spreading coming up and beam depletion those two things and these actually kind of with regard to angles show you for instance um, if you're, this is trying to show you near the equator, if you're um, near the equator at um, the, I guess it would have to be at what we call the equinox, and I'll show you that, why that is at, at some point in chapter two. As the sun um, hits uh, uh, noon, then the sun will be actually right overhead and make a 90 degree angle. So can you see where um, the a angle's 90 degrees because the sun is there with the horizon? Um, if you're at, um, at the middle latitudes, kind of showing you kind of a farm there, um, the highest the sun is ever going to get, for instance, in the daytime sky might be about, you know, 45 degrees. And you compare that to if you're near the poles, which you can kind of see in a little igloo there, um, the highest the sun might get in the sky is about 30 degrees. And with each one of these, I want to kind of point out, if you think of the, the sun sending a shaft of light, can you see where that shaft of light, for instance, at the equator covers, and I'll kind of highlight a few things, covers this amount of area as it hits the earth, okay? A same shaft or one unit of light if you're, if the sun is tilted or the sun is not 90 degrees, it's 45 degrees, can you see where by the time it hits the earth it intersects with 1.4 units instead of one unit. Okay, And then here we have, as the sun is lower on the horizon, making a smaller angle here, can you see where it is spread, and that's what we call it, beam spreading, it is spread over two units. Okay, it's called beam spreading. And it, it kind of, it would be similar to if you take a flashlight, and a flashlight is sending a shaft of light, and you can see if it's right at... Um, if the beam of light is 90 degrees, oops, sorry, this is 90 degrees relative to what you're shining it on, you can see where it's spread. This is the area versus if you slant the light and make it more of a 45 degrees and that this area, we'll call this A2, is greater than A1. Okay, that's called beam spreading. The same beam, but it's spread over a larger area because um, the angle is smaller. So A2 is greater than A1. Beam spreading. So I kind of want to now look at the Earth as a whole. And actually, I know that this is looking at the when we're experiencing winter in the northern hemisphere. This looks like the winter solstice. And these are, you can see these lines of latitude. Here's the equator. Here's 30 degrees north latitude, 66 and a half degrees north latitude, 90 degrees north latitude. Down here we have 23 and a half degrees south latitude. And as it turns out, this is, um, um, well, it says winter solstice, about December 21st or so. Um, let's see, what was I trying to emphasize here? Can you see that here at, oh, by the way, I kind of emphasized up here. Notice that the Earth's axis of rotation is here. It's kind of like a stick that the Earth spins on. Notice that it's tilted. And actually, it, it keeps that tilt as it orbits the sun. So because of the tilt, actually, um, the, 
here at in the southern hemisphere specifically at a latitude of 23 and a half degrees latitude actually the rays are the shaft of light coming from the sun is perpendicular or we have a 90 degree angle there so that's the least amount of beam spreading here um, then I can't remember how my builds are here at the equator we have a moderate angle we have some beam spreading and then here at the um, both 30 and 66 and a half degrees we have um, a, even yet a smaller angle that's going to be the angle of incoming insulation is actually smaller and um, we have a fair bit of beam spreading notice I want to point out up here anybody who is north of the latitude 66 and a half degrees can you see how when the earth spins on its axis of rotation that they will have no daylight and that's the case um, on the win at the winter solstice the winter solstice is a point of the earth in its orbit about the sun